Hello, I am Diana Petroska and a member of the COVID Task Force. Last week, two other members of the task force, Chris Scarlong and Don Smith, shared with you some of their traditions and how this year of restrictions has resulted in changing them or creating altogether new ways to celebrate. Today, Josh Geist and I will share with you our special ways of celebrating Christmas and how we are adapting and creatively keeping the spirit of the season. So one of our family holiday traditions is a cookie exchange with my mother, daughters, sisters, sister-in-law, and nieces. Each of us bakes our favorite holiday cookies and then we get together to exchange them. My mother sets the table with her grandmother's fine china tea set and we drink tea, eat cookies, and enjoy sharing special time together. Although we can't be together this year, we will do a variation on the theme. I will still bake my favorite cookies, including a couple of new ones from recipes that have been submitted for the church's holiday cookbook. I will then deliver them to each family's doorstep, along with some face mask and Christmas fabric that I've been making. And while this will be a different cookie exchange for us this year, at least we're able to continue this tradition virtually. A new tradition for us this year, however, is showing our appreciation for the delivery people who keep us supplied throughout the year, particularly during this time of pandemic. We have placed a basket full of goodies at our front door with a note of thanks, also inviting them to help themselves to some of the goodies. It's a very small gesture and possibly one that you are already doing yourself, but it's a way for us to say thank you and especially in the spirit of the season. So in these unusual times, I hope that you will find ways to stay connected with your families through new traditions and old. Wishing you a safe, healthy, and happy Christmas season. Hello everyone, and Merry Christmas. It's Josh Geist here. And for many, many years, we've had a family tradition of going to a Christmas tree farm, finding the perfect Christmas tree, uh, chopping it down or me sawing it down, hauling it back uh, home to Pittsburgh and uh, for everyone to enjoy at home. Uh, obviously we hunt out into the woods. This is one of my favorite ones. And uh, we've had uh, this tradition for many, many years. We haul back our Christmas tree and uh, we have a tradition that we take a picture every year of uh, the kids standing on an empty tree stump. Uh, sometimes we'll go to a Christmas tree farm uh, that has a tractor that will uh, drag us out into the farm. Uh, 2020 certainly has been different, um, but we still continued with this tradition, except this year uh, we wore masks, of course. And uh, after our Christmas tree hunting, we have a tradition to go to one of our favorite restaurants, uh, the Log Cabin Inn up in Zelianople for dinner. Unfortunately, this year, of course, uh, we weren't able to do that. Uh, so we did take out instead. And we had a great uh, tradition that we kept this year um, with the masks. So what, we had a great time. And I hope all of you stay healthy, well, and continue on with whatever traditions you may have with your family. Um, no matter what the uh, accommodations you may have to make. Merry Christmas, God bless, and I hope to see you soon in 2021.